Hey everyone, this is a tutorial on how to get your Apple TV to work and turn on as a part of a HomeKit scene. So the first things you're going to need is the Shortcuts app, which you can download by going to the Apple Store. And this is what the icon of it looks like. After you finish downloading, what you'll want to do is go to your Home app first. You'll need to create a scene, a custom scene, and name it anything you want. Select the devices that you may want to be connected to it. And then you can turn on and adjust how high you want those devices for that scene. So it looks like I've already got a device name test, so we'll do testing. So after you've done that, close out the home app. Go to your shortcuts. This is what you should see whenever you open up the app. Click create shortcut. And the first thing you need is text. You will need to get your IP address and serial number from your Apple TV. So that's the next thing we need. So the first things you're going to need to complete the process is to go to your settings on your Apple TV. Once here, click on General. Then click About. The two things that you're going to need are your serial number and your IP address. And I will show you later where to put these. After that, exit out of the settings. If you'd like for your TV to also turn on with your Apple TV when you run the scene, you'll want to go to your settings on your TV. You'll look for something called CEC. You'll open that up and you'll want to make sure everything is on. On my TV, I can also make sure that everything is connected and it shows the Apple TV. So whenever I turn on the Apple TV or press the button on it or run the scene, the TV will automatically turn on to that. Or if the TV is already on and the Apple TV is off and I run the scene or press a button on the Apple remote, it will automatically take me to that HDMI channel. So after you've done that, you'll want to click Done right there on the bottom next to the far right side. Next thing you're going to need is URL. You'll add that, click where it says example, and press text. Press done. Then you need get contents of URL, just like that. The next important thing is you actually have to add a headers. For the headers, the first part will say user, dash agent the text will be remote 1.0 after that you need to type in run home scene you will choose your home and then the scene that you wrote which ours was testing Then you're going to come up here on the far right and you will name the shortcut and let's call it home movie night or you can call it whatever you want. The next step is to add to Siri. So you can say Then you press done. After you've done that, you press done again. So you're gonna press play at the top. And what that does is it runs it. Then you press done. So after you have created your new shortcut, 
the next thing you need to do is to go to your settings on your iPhone or iPad, wherever it is you're using. You'll want to scroll down. until you see this section right here called shortcuts. The one I created says run home movie night. You'll click the plus sign. You'll repeat what you did earlier. It says phrase already in use. So after that, you will click cancel and you should be good to go. So as you can see, I have my lamp turned on to full brightness, my Apple TV is off, and my regular TV is off. I'm going to be using my Apple HomePod in order to run this scene to show that everything, after you've completed the steps I've shown you, can run across all devices. Hey Siri, turn on Home Movie Night. Running your shortcut. That's done. So as you can see, the light dimmed the Apple TV turned on, and the TV itself is turning on. Now there isn't a shortcut yet to be able to go straight into a movie setting such as Netflix or Hulu, but it opens up your Apple TV and turns on your TV so that way you can access and do whatever it is that you need to do. So thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment and I will get back to you.